Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video you will learn how to create this flat illustration in PowerPoint. First we will start with a simple sketch on a paper or tablet, feel free to use what's most comfortable to you, and then we will import the sketch into PowerPoint, where we will be adding all of the colors. We'll be drawing shapes on top of our sketch and this way we will vectorize the whole sketch. So let's go! Before we get started, I want to say huge thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and supporting One Skill channel. Skillshare is an awesome online learning community with thousands of classes for you, my friend. You can learn many new skills such as animation, design, illustration, and many more. And I'm always looking for new ways to improve myself as a presentation designer, and learning new skills such as drawing illustrations is super useful. Sometimes you just need a custom illustration or an infographic for your slides and knowing how to create those custom vector illustrations in PowerPoint makes you unstoppable. So I have recently taken this illustration class on Skillshare called Mastering Illustration, Sketching, Inking and Color Essentials by Jazza, an awesome artist and YouTuber, and I really like how he breaks down the illustration process into stages, brainstorming, sketching, inking and coloring. So we will definitely be putting some of that knowledge into practice and adapting it to PowerPoint. So definitely check out Skillshare and start creating even more amazing presentations. First 1000 people who click the link in the video description for a limited time will get Skillshare Premium for free. And by the way, today's tutorial slides are free to download thanks to Skillshare. Link is in the video description. And now let's continue with the video. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so let's choose this blank slide layout, that's awesome. And now let me insert the sketch that I've already drawn. So this is just a simple sketch of a person sitting at the desk and working with a laptop. Alright, and now let's actually select this uh, sketch, this photo, and let's cut it. So hit Command X or Control X. And now let's go to Slide Master View and let's find this blank slide layout. And now let's just paste our picture right here. That's awesome. And now let's just duplicate this slide layout. And here on the duplicate, let's uh, delete the picture. Alright, and now when we close out the slide master view, as you can see, we can easily turn on the sketch view and turn off the sketch view. So this is really, really useful, especially when we will be adding colors. Alright. And the next uh, thing we can do, we can change the color palette to something more interesting, like uh, red-violet. So our whole illustration will be red-violet. And now let's uh, choose the circle and let's start adding colors uh, to our sketch. So let's start with the hair. And let's say our character has uh, blue hair. Why not? Alright, and one more thing we can do, we can add some transparency to our circle. So let's just go to fill options, add some transparency so that we can better see the sketch, uh, you know, below the circle. All right. And we can actually set this circle to be our default shape. So later on, when we will be creating shapes, they will have this, you know, blue color and some transparency. All right. And you can always use the control key to quickly copy any shape. So this is what I've done right now. And once again, hold down the control key to quickly copy this shape. All right, you can adjust the size, the rotation. And now we are basically finished with the hair. So let's just select all of these three circles. Let's go to merge shapes and union them so that we have one solid shape. And we can reduce the transparency. I mean, remove the transparency. And now let's continue with the head. So as you can see, we're getting this blue semi-transparent uh, shape. So with the rounded uh, rectangle, you can use this uh, yellow handle to adjust the roundness of your rectangle. So feel free to adjust the size and the width of this rounded rectangle. All right. Now let's insert a circle. It will be the ear of our character. And I'll hold down the shift key to select both the head and the ear and union then union union <laughs> union them together into one shape just make sure that uh, hair is on top all right and now uh, let's uh, do the eyes so once again let's uh, choose the circle tool let's draw a circle 
So let's uh, remove the transparency. Let's set the fill to white color. Position uh, the eye where it's supposed to be. Use the control key to make a copy. And now let's uh, make a pupil. Let's uh, choose this dark uh, blue color. So now I'm just explaining everything, you know, step by step. But later on, I'll speed up once, you know, you know all of these uh, techniques. So now let me just group this eye with the pupil. And once again, while holding down the control key, you can make a copy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's awesome. And now let me show you how we can draw the mouth. So it is another useful technique. And we'll be using the freeform tool. So let me just zoom in so that you can better see what I'm doing. So I'm clicking once, twice for the third time and connect the ending point with the starting point. And now we can edit the points. And for this bottom point, let's make it smooth. And as you can see, now we get a perfect, beautiful smile. That's awesome. All right, and for the mouth, let's uh, remove the transparency. Let me change the color to this uh, dark blue color. That's awesome. And now let me show you how we can add some uh, teeth, you know, to this, uh, to this mouth. So let's just go to shapes. Let's draw a circle just like that. Uh, let me just change uh, the color of the circle so that you can better see what is going on like this so one circle at the bottom and now let's just copy the circle and move one circle here at the top that's awesome let's actually move a copy of these two guys here to the right side just like that and now let's select the mouth this circle go to merge shapes functions and choose intersect so these are going to be our bottom teeth let's make them white and let's position them where they belong somewhere right here and now let's do the same steps for the top teeth intersect uh, let's make them white and let's position them right here super duper awesome white beautiful teeth okay and now we can actually copy these uh, top teeth we can turn them uh, to this dark blue color and we can make a nose out of that uh, shape. Awesome. So we are pretty much done with the head. And now let me just uh, show you how it looks like without a sketch. And you can always do some adjustments if you want. And we can always turn on the sketch back so that we can see what else we have to do. So now let me speed up a little bit. So now I'm just, uh, you know, drawing the neck with a rounded rectangle. And now let me slow down for a little bit. So now I'm just changing the color of the neck. Make sure that you send the neck uh, to back. For the head, let's uh, remove the transparency. And as well, let's choose a lighter shade of blue color, something like that. So as you can see, the neck has a darker tone and the head has lighter tone. So this way we get this feeling of depth. And I'll just speed up a little bit. Now just drawing um, the rest of the body. So for the body and for the shoulders, I'm using rounded rectangles. All right. And for the hand, I'm using the freeform tool once again, just clicking around the hand. All right, removing transparency, making sure that the neck is on top of the body. So let me do the second hand. All right. And now once again, here we can edit points and we can make this point smooth so that we can get this uh, beautiful curve and follow our sketch. All right, just adjust those uh, white handles. And let's do the same for the second hand. Just uh, make any point that you want smooth and adjust these white uh, handles. All right, that's awesome. So this is the view without a sketch. Looking good. And let's turn uh, the sketch back on. Now let me speed up once again. So now I'm just drawing the table easy to do 
Now drawing the legs with the freeform tool. So for the second leg, I'm using a darker shade for the, of the purple color. Now the legs. So for the chair, I'm just using an oval and a rounded rectangle, and I just join these two shapes. Now we're doing the edge of the laptop, now the back of the laptop, and just adding a couple of elements to the back of the laptop, a circle and a line. All right. Looking beautiful. Now I'm just doing this uh, teacup using a rounded rectangle and just cutting off the top with another rectangle. And for the steam, I'm just uh, using some freeform uh, shapes with some smooth corners. Now let me do the tea kettle with the freeform tool. Once again, you can make any points smooth that you want. All right, let's finish up the chair. All right, some uh, wheels for the chair and I connect them to the chair uh, with some lines. That's pretty easy. And now the dog, the fluffy dog. So for the dog, I'm using a bunch of circles and then I union them together. All right. And changing up the shades of the colors a little bit so that we have some distinction. So as you can see, you can basically color everything uh, by using shapes. And I'm just dropping a shadow here below everything and just adding a slight title and a rounded rectangle with a call to action. So let's say this is our contact us slide. So ladies and gentlemen, now you know how you can create this awesome flat illustration in PowerPoint. So thank you for watching. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you.